I'm with his beatitude, Gregorius III, the patriarch of the Melkite Greek Catholic Church, who's based in Damascus. Beatitude, you've been living in a situation of great strain these last couple of years in Syria. Can you describe for me what life has been like for you and your people in Damascus? What is it like there at the moment? Well, the life is very difficult for all of Syrians, also for Muslims, but we are speaking a little bit more about uh, Christians. And for all of them, the situation is very chaotic, is dangerous, and is moving, a theater moving better, worse, according to the outside uh, situations uh, and people are in danger everywhere mm -hmm. and they can have their normal, normal life everywhere but this is very terrifying for the people and maybe part of the reason why the people are living not only compelled to live, to live but sometimes in order to avoid uh, worse situations but your own patriarchate beatitude has suffered hasn't it when you have been there, the, the Patriarch came under fire, quite close to the, to the Patriarchate. Is that right? Well, we had rockets uh, between the Baptuma and Babsharki uh, quarter, which is the mainly Christian quarter, with about 100 churches, cathedrals, convents, sisters, welfare associations, associations, and so on, and schools, and so on. We had about 130 rockets uh, shelled, on these places, and we had three in our patriarchate and around it, but we, without big damages and without real immediate uh, casualties. Mm. There were some, but a little bit, not from our people, but Christians, I, get, I went to their houses and I saw the orphans. Uh, so we are, in, in, a, in a way, I can say the old city, Christian part, is part target of these uh, shells. Right. And the main issue is, of course, that Christians are leaving Syria. Is that That's the situation, isn't it? Yes, uh, we feel, we can say, not really emigration, but leaving. This yes, place, yes. Where we have about 450,000 people, Christians, in this place, inside or outside Syria. It means a third of the Christian presence in Syria. We have about one, three quarter millions of Christians, Greek Orthodox, Greek Catholic, Syrian, and so on. Third of them are now displaced, mostly inside, some mostly in Lebanon, Jordan, partly Iraq. And this is for us not very dangerous because they can come back as soon as possible. And I am seeing on the border between Damascus and Beirut, I am crossing almost weekly, we have here, there, people leaving to mm. Beirut and people back to Damascus. That is very consonant. But others are willing to go to Sweden, to Germany, to United States, to Canada and Australia. And that is more dangerous because they have relatives and friends there and maybe they can't or they don't want to return. Yes, so when you say it's dangerous, it means that the likelihood of them returning is that much reduced because they're going so further, so much further away. Yes. But Beatitude, Aid to the Church in Need, has been doing quite a lot to help the situation in Syria. It's been supporting uh, the, the refugees and the displaced people, um, particularly with the Good Shepherd Sisters, but also uh, with other groups. Um, what would you say is the benefit of the work of, of aid to the church in need? What, what, how is that important to you and your people? Well, first of all, I would like to thank very, very heartily this wonderful action of church, aid to the church in need in all places in England, but also in Germany and elsewhere, where we are seeing how this very important organization is helping always since times and times and now more and more in this situation and I know bishops are writing
to help, to act for he lead, organization, Good Shepherd Sisters, and we, and so on and so on. And they are ready to help everywhere. And the important thing is, this help to us is help for others. We help Christians alike and also Muslims. And that is important to keep always good relation. Not to say mm. Christians are and helped and others not helped. Even if some Muslims get more money than we, but it is important to help them in order to keep the conviviality and to uh, look for the future when peace will, uh, uh, will turn back and we have to be together. Uh, we, we are solidar together and we can tell you many beautiful stories of Christians like in Marra welcoming uh, Muslims, elderly people, women and children who uh, uh, men went because of the war and they had one shelter only in the Christian uh, village where they were for two months getting everything free, mm. houses, rent, conferences for mother, beautiful play and camping and so on for children and so on. Mm. That is important so that, so that aid for church in need also is helping everybody through us. Us helping us, but helping everybody through us. And we have to say big, big thanks to the church indeed. Shukran for your help and for your love and for your concern. Biastu, before we had this interview, you told me a beautiful story involving uh, uh, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and the way of the cross. And uh, when he... Uh, held the way of the cross in the Colosseum, you took the opportunity to um, write him a letter. Can you tell me about that? A well, one... I, I say this because there's a cross behind you, of course. Yes. In, uh... Well, that was why I thought about that, because of this uh, reality, of this cross behind me. Well, as I was in the Holy Week in Syria, very, very, very touchful, very, very sensitive, and we like to tell you the churches in the whole length time and the whole week, Holy Week were full, full, full. All our churches were full in spite of the tragedy, of the sadness, of the fear. It, they were full. And on that day, I saw immediately, a day before, our ah, Holy Father is now making this way of cross in Colosseum with Martyrs and St. Antioch or St. Ignatius of Antioch. I have to write a letter to him where I wrote, Your Holy Father, you are now making this wonderful and ceremonial uh, way of cross, a very, very special one. But I would like to tell you that we are making this way of cross via crutches already to half years in Syria, not only Christians, but all population in one or other way are bearing this cross. And as Jesus was helped by Simon, of Cyrene. So we need you to help us to bear the cross with us and we thank you because you are doing that. And it was a wonderful just after this letter, you know, this very wonderful appeal of the Holy Father on the 7th of September to fast and to pray. And this prayer, and this appeal to prayer, well, once first changed the situation against Syria and avoided the attack against Syria. But on the other hand, it was somehow a new appeal to a new vision, something different to deal with problems, not only with weapons and with violence and so on and so on. So we are very grateful, thankful for the Holy Father for this wonderful appeal to prayer and to change mind and so to have a new look for a new world with less weapons and more peace, more dialogue, more reconciliation. Beatitude, it's been wonderful to speak to you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your, uh, your presence with us here at Aid to the Church in Need. It's a, a real privilege to have you with us. Thank you, and thank you for the wonderful program you were, uh, were able to organize for us, for me, for Sister Hanan of the Good Shepherd Sisters, and through us for all our churches in the Middle East, and especially for Syria. Thank you, God bless you, and you, and your team, and all your benefactors who are giving you 
the power to help and to love. Thank you very much.